So step one in your painting is to prep it. <laughs> and you need to make random splotches of very light values. You're going to use two different colors, any color you want to, as long as it's a light. So you could still use something, you know, like ultramarine or alzarian crimson, as long as you dilute it and it's a very light value. You might want to use a bigger brush if you have it. And you want these random, almost like water splotches. So one thing you can do is kind of drop. I'm just squeezing the brush. So I squeezed out some water. I ended it with a splotch. If you have a spray bottle, that works well too. You can also just take some water and flick it around. I'm going to put some paint on here so you can see it. Uh, you don't want some areas that are bigger splotches. So you can see how light this is. It's not very uh, dark at all. In this, I can add a little bit of darker area. So this is just going to happen. You're not going to really worry about the shape of this. If I want it to move a little bit while it's wet, I can. So the only thing you want to look out for is if I have a kind of a really hard edge right here, I can move that a little bit, soften it. You also want to watch out if you're getting, uh, if you if you drowned your paper and it's kind of pooling up. If you have a puddle, you might want to get a little bit of that water. Beware of having like a huge, huge puddle. So I'm going to do what I just did a couple more times. Right now I have this orange color that I had mixed. And you can already see how, because there's so much water, that diluted like crazy. So make sure you start with a concentration that's diluted, but you also have to remember that it's going to hit the water on the paper. So the, wa the color that you have mixed is going to hit the water on the paper, and it's going to dilute even more. It's okay if it's light. That's fine. Lighter values are better than too dark. It's okay to have a little bit of variety. So I'm going to make two or three splotches. It's okay if it goes off to the side. Just watch out and make sure it's not going to seep into your other papers that are underneath there. I'll put a little bit of color into here. So now you can see if I do this with a darker concentration, you can see what happens. But this is too much water. This is your what not to do. It's all pooling, even though I'm on a straight surface. And this is going to get into you know, some of your next watercolor papers. So if that happens, mop it up a little bit. You don't need your paper sopping wet to do this. You need it a little bit wet. If that happens, you can have a handy uh, paper towel ready. So basically, I'm kind of mixing yellow and red. Um, I pre-mixed some of it to make that orange, but I can also just drop in and let it mix on the paper too. So I'm going to let these just mush together a little bit and just try to let them be random. Sometimes you got to kind of help them along as they mix. But if you end up with puddles on the edge, mop those up a little bit. So you got to balance random splotches without too much water. I got one here, got one here. I might make one kind of off this edge. The other thing you can do is if you want to paint a little bit and then rough up the edge a little bit, you can. But this is going to be a little too uniform, so you can rough up the edge, kind of squeeze out the paper, all right, squeeze out the water. You can rough up the edge with this brush. I'm going to put a little paint on here so you can see what I did. What I did to rough up the edge was I did this. So if the splotch thing is not working for you because maybe you have too much water, you keep ending up with too much water, you can do a little bit of this. Brush a little bit of it in there. And let that kind of go. So if you want to kind of control it a little bit, that's all right. I'm going to mop up the edge so it doesn't transfer to my other papers. I'm going to drop a little bit of yellow in there with it. have a few areas, nothing too dark. And it should be kind of random. You're going to work with the splotches in the next project. This is great. Beware of too much water. You can do this, but that tends to get a big puddle. So do it really lightly or kind of get a little bit of the water out. Do that. If you have a spray bottle that you can mist lightly, put it on mist and kind of 
and just do one area, not the whole thing. Missed one area, and then you can drop the paint down. That works too. Get a couple splotches going, and then we'll tell you the next steps. So now this is dry. You can see we have some nice splotches. So now we'll talk about what to do with it. But just so you can see on the edge here, it pulled up a little bit, but not too bad. It held up pretty well. So that's the beauty of these pads because they're gummed down, you know, kind of secured. We can do things that normally we wouldn't be able to do on a, you know, unstretched paper. So beware if you go too, too heavy with water, it does ripple slightly. Okay, what we talked about in the last video. Right here, this is perfect. And we have some nice, nice light splotches. So we'll move on to the next step.